And how long have you been doing that? Kind of it's only a year and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I am um, really enjoying it. It's it's all it's new, but it's it's up to my own health experience that I opened my own thing. That's cool. Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Come on, show some love everybody, woo! <laughs> Great to have you guys, thank you for coming on the show. How are you today, good, Grant, I'm yeah? Good, good. Adam, how are you? Good, good to see you. And Nicola, how are good, you? Thank you. Thank you, come on, show one more love everybody, whoa, thank you so much. This is how we do it on the show. Okay, to kick off today's show, let's start with Grant, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Adam, uh, I'm the founder and CEO of As I Am. As I Am is Ireland's national autism charity, and we're working to make the country an autism friendly place. Wonderful. Come on, show some love for that. That's wonderful. <laughs> that is so true. And Grant, tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Grant. I am an avid amateur photographer. I've been doing it for a couple of years now, and I just like to seek inspiration from places and people and things in the world. Wow, wow, amazing. <laughs> What a story. And Nicola, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Nicola Flood and I'm the Queen of Health and I'm a nutritional health and wellness coach who changes pe people's lives. Wow, wow, beautiful. <laughs> so much to talk about on the show. Stay tuned for more of this. We'll be right back. Come on, everybody, let's do it. Woo! Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Woo! Come on, show some everybody. Woo! Thank you so much. This is how we do it on the jury question. I'm your host, Chris Onos, and today we have some wonderful guests joining us on the show. So make sure you're tuning in, you're watching everything we do. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Come on, everybody, show some love, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's good to have you, Grant, Nicola, and Adam. Correct? Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show today. So, Nicola, congratulations. You have your wonderful book called The Body Beautiful. Is it? That's it, yeah. Yes, tell Thank us about you. yourself, Nicole. So, the book is all about how my journey, my health journey, and how I changed things through nutrition, wellness, and mindfulness. Um, a couple of years ago, I was four stone overweight, feeling depressed, unexplained infertility, mm -hmm. and in a very bad place. So I started to change things around, started to look at nutrition, started to look at mindfulness and exercise. And through my own journey, I was able to heal myself naturally, became pregnant naturally. Wow. Um, after mm -hmm. going through couple of years of IVF, wow. um, underactive thyroid. So I just took my own health and said, right, I'm going to try and, and do this. And as a result, I wanted to share my story wow. with people to help and support their journey as well. Come on, amazing story. That was beautiful. <laughs> well done, Nicole. This is the beauty of why we bring you on the show. Let's get to meet Adam. Adam, tell us about yourself more. Yeah, um, so when I was five years old, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, mm. uh, which is a form of autism. And I suppose at the time there wasn't much awareness of autism in the country. Um, but I was lucky, I suppose, as I was growing up, things began to change. Uh, so while I spent the first three years of my education in a special school, mm. when I was eight years old, I moved to my local national school. Okay. And I had a special needs assistant there for five years. And then I went to secondary school independently. But one of the things that used to annoy me about growing up in Ireland is if you found out, if someone found out that you were on the autism spectrum, you'd see a look of absolute panic in their eyes. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because they want to know how to include people. They want to do the right thing. True. But we did, people don't really know what that is or what that looks like. So we have a situation, I suppose, in Ireland where we've become very aware of autism, but we mm. don't really understand it. So okay. the analogy I use sometimes is, I'm aware that Mandarin is a language, but I don't understand it. So oh. I'm not much used to people who can only speak that language. Mm. So when I was 18, I set up As I Am, which is now Ireland's national autism charity with the vision, I suppose, to try and increase understanding and give communities the tools to meaningfully include autistic people. We have a situation where one in 65 children in school today has a diagnosis of autism. But unfortunately, most of the challenges those young people would experience aren't to do with actually the fact that they're autistic. Hmm. They're to do with society not being accessible. So we have a situation of 85% of people on the spectrum being unemployed or underemployed. 8 in 10 people having a mental health difficulty at some stage during their life mm. and really high levels of social isolation. And that's important because we can change that if we educate and we make small changes to how we do things so that they're inclusive and accessible for autistic people. Wow, amazing, amazing. Come on, wow. 
wonderful, Alan. Thank you so much. It's good we have things to people like you, you know, to come on board on a show like this to share more insight. You know, awareness, education, these are mo most important things that we need with us. Let's bring uh, Grant in. Grant, how, how, how are you doing? I'm good today, thank you. Great to see you guys. So tell us about your phot photography. How, what inspires you to go into it? Um, I was inspired um, to get into photography. I'd been uh, shooting landscapes and cats um, for a long time and mm. uh, when the only feedback from your model is your, your model going meow <laughs> then <laughs> you have to move on. Very true. Uh, so I, had, um, I have a couple of very good friends uh, that are photographers and have uh, pushed me and pushed my limits very good. Um, to do different things to the point where I've been shooting. Um, I've shot in France, I've shot in Morocco this mm. year um, I've been shooting uh, across Ireland, Very but good. I get to meet a lot of people that inspire me. Very um, good. And it's a very col collaborative process. It's a give and take process, mm. and uh, I get to feed off the creative energy of a lot of people. Very and good. Feed that back. Hopefully Very good. Because that's one of your comments you saw when you said it's not like uh, someone be able to share the work you you do. You know, I saw it on Facebook and I said, wow, I, I like I like the center. I think I actually put a bit of comment on, on it as well. And that was why I said, oh, I like to want to bring people like you to come on the show to really share more insight. You know, so great work. And, I, and I'm going to chat with you more. Nico, back to your book. You know, there's so much involved in this book. I know you mentioned you've not officially launched it. Yeah. But on the show, it's not officially launched on the show <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know, so... Um, how, what are the areas of people you have to target? Is it for everybody or just, well, you know, give us more insight. Yeah, so my main focus is people that want to go on a weight loss journey. Okay. What I find when people come to me for weight loss is when we start to coach and we go into the coaching side of it, mm -hmm. a lot more comes to the surface. Very and, true. And, you know, there's different things that have been there for years and they're surprised that this, this comes up. So not only is it a weight loss journey, but it also becomes a coaching journey. Wow, amazing. Come on, people. This is why I love so much. Thank you very much. Let's bring uh, Adam in. Adam, you're talking about autism, you know, like people aren't really, once they know you have autism, the way they look at mm. you, it's very, very different. Uh, you Did you experience that yourself? Yeah, absolutely. And, and not in a bad way. I mean, straight away, I was much more fortunate than most young people yeah. in that well over half of young people going through school will mm -hmm. be bullied at some point but because they're on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. I think the difference is it's not a case that um, people get up in the morning and they say, I don't like autistic people, so I'm going to target that group of people. Mm -hmm. What actually happens is, you know, you, have, you could be sitting next to school mm -hmm. or you could be sitting uh, next to somebody in your workplace is on the spectrum. But because there's a stigma and people don't talk about it and because people don't necessarily look any different. Okay. Instead of us knowing how to help the person, we might just say, that person's weird, that person's odd, that person's strange. Or if we know they're on the spectrum, maybe sometimes we're too nice. We make a big <laughs> fuss instead of just trying to accept the person where they're at. I think the really important thing over the next few years is when we think about autism, we tend to think of children. children. Yeah. But it's a lifelong condition and we're seeing the first generation of people who went through mainstream school mm. reaching adulthood. So there's a real need now for us, you know, as adults, we're very good at saying what schools should do. True. But actually it's about if, if we can employ somebody and someone comes into our interview room and they don't make eye contact, will we give the person the job? Mm. If we're in the supermarket in the evening and we're kind of tired and we're running around getting things and we see that lady from down the, the road who's a little bit eccentric, do we stop and say hello or do we keep walking? So that's the real challenge here, that wow. we actually as adults have to hold ourselves to the same standards that we want to hold children in schools. Wow, amazing people. Wow, Adam, thank you so much. This is so, it's, it's so touchy, you know, but at the same time as well, it stays that I believe that we just don't think. But probably we have too many things in our head sometimes and uh, yeah. we just can't stop for a second and just realise, oh, hang on a second. Uh, does this person need an, an attention or does it need a help or oh, he, look, he or she looks somehow, maybe can I, you know, help or, you know, say something. Um, uh, Grant, back to yourself, um, what, do you work with models or you just work more white life at, at, the, at the moment? At the moment, I've been shooting a lot with uh, models. I'm also doing um, a lot of um, pageant work, charity work, okay. um, shooting charity fashion shows. Okay. Um, I recently shot for uh, sickle cell awareness. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah, that's my very good friend, uh, Esther, and, Esther and, and the rest of the yeah, team. Yeah, very yeah, good, very yeah, good. Very good. Okay. Uh, it was Becky that got me involved. In yeah, that. <laughs> very um, good. I've shot for diabetes awareness, being diabetic myself. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, I um, I get I'm I'm very lucky in that it's not a job, so I get to uh, I get to choose what I shoot. Very so, true. Uh, 
I don't have to uh, I, I don't have to stick to a corporate brief that kind Very of thing true. so we can do strange things mm -hmm. um, like for example the, the piece that you saw yeah um, with uh, Joy, Joy Daz. That's true, yeah, we have that one. Uh, she's very inspirational. Um, the canvas behind her was, in fact, blank okay. when we started the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. She painted the whole thing uh, during the shoot as we were going along. Yeah. So a lot of times where you'll see, um, you, where you'll see a model that's uh, in that kind of situation, the background background's been chosen, and all the paint splashes on the model have been artistic. Very true. Yeah, we have a copy of that here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that uh, because she actually painted it on the day, all the paint splashes are legitimate. They're all real and earned. That kind of thing. Very true. Um, so yeah, I, I I get my inspiration from a lots of different places. Wonderful. Come on, show some love, everybody. Come on, that was beautiful. We're just gonna go on a quick break, okay? So we'll come back. We're gonna continue from you guys. We'll be right back, stay tuned for more of this. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody! Woo! Thank you so much, guys. That's a quick break. All good? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I know before we went on the break, we are talking about yourself, the, um, what really inspires about your photography work and a lot of stuff that you've done. You've worked for charities, you work for all the different organizations. And I like what you mentioned. You're not just doing it, you're not doing it for, for money, but for the love and passion you have for it, which is great. I always like to see people not just talk about money straight away, mm -hmm. but also talk about the passion you have for what you want, you know. Through that, you earn what you want, you know. So what really, when you go into a photography, because I love photography a lot more, um, what do you see? What, how, how do you kind of visualize your mind into it in order for you to actually bring something that people can like? Wow, this is really good. Tell us about it. Oh, it's, you, you, see, you see inspiration um, and ideas uh, almost everywhere. I mean, you can, be going, you can be going through, um, a few months ago, I was going through one of these um, fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I was basically looking down at the ground and you've got like discarded hot dogs and then you've got like popsicles that are there and there was a popsicle and the, the sort of pineapple and orange and raspberry had all kind of melted together, that kind of thing. Wow. And I thought those mix of colours, um, I could shoot what I'm seeing there, but can I do something that's similar that implies sort of like melting liquids, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. So I had um, another talented... Uh, friend of mine make um, a long, a three meter long train of different colors of organza material. Wow. And we found a, a location at a reservoir which mm -hmm. had uh, almost like a castle wall. Okay. Castle walls and we put a model on top of the castle walls with this three meters of fabric running down the walls like a liquid. Very good. And that kind of... Um, it so, gave the effect that I wanted, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, so, so you true, see things. So, true. So sorry to cut you off. So true things like like that, you're able to see beyond what you intend to kind of go for, rather than just say, okay, I want to just do a photograph. This is it. No, but you you see beyond what is in front of you. Will that be something you're trying to? Do? Oh yeah, you see. Oh yeah, you see what's beyond. Um, you see what's beyond. You also see what's beyond in a person as well. Very true. Um, I've shot with um, a lot of different models mm -hmm. um, who have been, uh, have overcome advers ad uh, adversity in their lives, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and I kind of see in them, uh, you know, something that I want to bring out, some of their personality. Very true. And, you know, they bring out some uh, of the things that I want to uh, express mm. uh, and shoot. Um, I've shot with people with uh, Disabilities. I've shot with people that have lost both limbs, both legs, that wow. kind of thing. Amazing. Um, so yeah, and I've also shot with people that would never think that they would be a model in their life. Wow. Um, I'm shooting now with uh, there's a. So there's a, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot for you it's there. It's all going. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all going. Let right. me drag the call. Nico, which uh, Nicola? I try to go the call. You know. <laughs> you know um, very, very quick there for you, um, there are ingredients that's involved in this, your book, yeah? yeah? Tell us about it. So with anything that I do with my clients, I have to make it real, realistic mm. and okay. easy. Um, a lot of the clients I work with are busy, hectic lives, so it has to be something that fits into their schedule. Okay. And I don't want to give anybody restrictions, so 
it, you know, we don't cut out anything. We work around people's lifestyles and making sure that they get the best that they, they can from it. Oh, amazing. Come on. Wonderful, wonderful. And how long, how long did it take you to kind of put these two together, together? I know you've already shared most of your experience, you know, things you went through and all of yeah, that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Take your years, is it? So after I had my baby girl, Hannah, who's three and a half now, I wow. was on maternity leave and decided I was going to put pen to paper and start the book. It probably took longer than I expected. Wow. And it, probably two years wow. with going back to work and... And, and everything. It's, yeah. it's just amazing, you know? That's one thing I always, every time we bring up the show, I always want to give women a lot of credit because you women, you're, also, you're so strong. The way you do so many things and to put your life in this, it is yeah. not easy. Not yeah. everybody is confident enough to, to do yeah. this, you know? Let me bring uh, Adam in here. So at the moment, are you guys doing any campaign in relation to you know autism and things like that right now? Yes, so we're doing a few things at the moment. Um, we had a major initiative last year, so we have a big good. partnership with Super Value, Very good. Uh, rolling autism-friendly shopping out around the country. Very good. So this is where we reduce the lighting and turn off the music for two hour, a period of time okay. in a supermarket every week. So hmm. that's in over 70 stores across Ireland now. Um, okay. But we partnered together and we created Clonakilty as Ireland's first autism-friendly town. Very good. So we trained over 100 organisations in the town, everybody from hairdressers to Gardaí to the GA club, about little changes they could make and also changes in attitude. So it was really successful. And now with the support of Super Value, we're rolling that out to nine towns this year. Wow. A big challenge for a lot of autistic people is if we meet people with other disabilities, maybe straight away we realise the person has a disability and we can start to think about, well, what changes might need to be made or, or, or what might the person need me to do to support okay. them. Uh, with autism, that's not always the case because it's invisible. Mm. So we're shortly going to begin to issue a national autism ID card. Mm -hmm. So there's a huge demand for this within the community. So Very it good. will be a card that autistic people are able to access if they send us a copy of their diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And the card is a unique card. Every card will have its own number, a picture of the person on oh, the card, okay. Very good. and a short sentence about autism in English, Spanish, and French. Okay, it's the what about the Irish, you don't know? No. There was a, <laughs> it's a very small card. <laughs> I'll be <missing. laughs> Maybe for the Grail talk. But um, <laughs> what, uh, the pur purpose of the card really would be if somebody's in an emergency situation, okay. they'll be able to show the card so maybe the police or the ambulance will understand what or they the need pub, to do. Or the pub, public or anybody. Public, but also attractions, places like the airport, places like uh, Tato Park, places oh, like the good. zoo. We're hoping we'll accept the card and maybe prioritize the needs of the person as they go through the experience. Oh, very good, amazing. Yeah. Come on, so good for that. That's, you know, I mean, it's really good that you're sharing this kind of information. There's not like awareness, either from mm. photographer to, um, you know, nutrition, you know, to autism. All of these plays a lot of role in our lives, either from our families or friends or people we know, even our neighbors. Everything plays a lot, you know, in, in, uh, in what we do every day. So I want to thank you guys for coming in. There's going to be a game on, on the show as well. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> but before we do all of that, guys, so Nico, back to yourself. Um, so this book, can it be purchased in the shops or anywhere at all for now? I know you said, will it going to be uh, as in? Yeah, so I'm going to go to Amazon, if that's where it will be, and then hopefully... Who knows okay. where it'll yeah. go from there. People really need to go after this, you know. It is amazing. I like the way you kind of titled it, The Queen of the Hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have uh, Grant, Nicole, and also uh, Adam on the show. A bit of game coming up on the show. So stay tuned for more of our show. So love everybody. Woo! Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Woo, thank you. This is the moment, guys. Thank you so much. OK, don't worry, guys. It's going to be a very simple joke, OK? It's a very friendly one that we're going to talk through. So, um, Nicole, I was told you're from Ballsbridge, are you? Ballsbridge, Blackrock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only messing, I'm only messing. And Adam, you're from Dub Dublin, are you? Greystones. Greystones. Yeah. And Grant, where are you from? Longford. Glasgow. Glasgow, <laughs> very good. Originally 20, years, 20, <laughs> Originally, 20 years ago, Glasgow, yeah. Oh, no way. Dublin now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dublin now, anyway, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, a few things I'm just going to chat you guys through very quick, yeah. If you were from Dub Dublin, what does chancer mean? Chancer. Let me start with Nicole. Uh, 
Um, chance are that you're a messer, you're not telling the truth. Yeah. Mm. Glasgow, is it true? Oh, it's exactly the same. It's, saying, it's the same word in Glasgow as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Show us a love that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let me bring... Adam. OK, next one for you, Adam. See if you can do this one. Uh, what's queer? Queer. Uh, queer. Yeah, there you go. It means, like, strange or unusual. or ah, OK. Or, yeah, I think that's roughly what it means. Yeah. It's an older one. Yeah. yeah. Nicole, yeah. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. Grantees. More, more kind of quirky as well. <laughs> yeah. Quirky. yeah. I think you got it right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me bring that to you, Grant. Okay, um, which one I'm going to ask you there? So many of them in, okay, uh, eat the air off. How's that? Oh, mm. that's a new one on me. Mm. Adam, do you want to jump in? Eat on that? their head off? Yeah. It means um, really snap at somebody or oh, goodbye. Really? So, yes. I don't know about it though. <laughs> it's the first time I'm hearing about it. Eat the head off. Is it a bad language kind of thing? No, it's more just if someone gives out to you, it's a way of saying he, he had my head off. Ah, yeah. well, I see. Okay, come on, show some love for that, everybody. That was good. See, see, this is not like about shows like this, you know, sometimes, you know, we want to smile away and, you know, take all the old stress away, just having a bit of banter, yeah. and that's what we're doing. Really good. Next one, um, just a general one. Gummy, what's that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I can't put a word Gammy, on it. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gammy. It's not working well or... Yeah. Yeah. Gammy would be sort of broken, broken. or yeah. injured or something like that. You'd get someone saying that they had a gammy leg yeah. when, they were, <laughs> yeah. when, they were yeah. the, when they when they wanted to not actually have to run anywhere. Okay. Yeah. I've used that excuse myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Next one I'm going to ask you, uh, how is she cotton? How's that? How is she cotton? Yeah. How is she cutting? Yeah. How is how it going? Things? How are things yeah. going? Ah. How are you doing? Okay, very good. Come on, show some love for that, everybody. We're really learning today. We're doing some wonderful things. And Nicole, for yourself, I might ask you there, um, in terms of your book, so um, is this book both for men, women, generally, or families yeah, and everybody? For everybody. Anybody, yeah. yeah. Okay. And for general health, uh, wellness, and mm -hmm. for weight loss as well. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, because you answered that very well, I'm going to throw you one question uh. there. Okay. <laughs> um, um, how are you? How's that? So that's, yeah, that's very good. That is how, how are you doing? Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> how are you keeping? How are you keeping? <laughs> what about leave it out? Oh, I don't know that one. Ooh, yeah. I don't jump on that one. It means like stop or cut it out. Oh, leave yeah. it yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, show some love, everybody. That was beautiful. All right, this is going to wrap it up there. Before we wrap this up there, um, Grant, people can find you on Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that, can yeah, they? Yeah, they can find me on grantsphotos.com. Wonderful. Um, uh, the same thing will come up on Facebook or okay. Instagram. Okay. And you can follow me there. Okay, wonderful. And also to Nicole. Yeah, so the Queen of Health, I'm on Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, I have my own website and two clinics as well. So. What? Two clinics? Amazing! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and Adam, tell us. Uh, asiam.ie okay. or on all social media platforms, as I am Ireland. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Come on. Come on, show us a little bit, buddy. Thank you all so much for coming on, on, on the show today. I want to wish you guys best of luck. Uh, keep in touch with us. We appreciate the fact. Good game. Good comment today. Great, great awareness. And we want to wish you guys the best of luck. Okay, come on, show one more love for Grant, everybody. Nicole and also Adam. Thank you so much. All right, viewers, this is where we're going to wrap today's show. I want to say thank you to all my viewers at home, wherever you are watching the show. Thank you so much. Make sure you go and check out what our guests have for you on today. And also, a beautiful game we had on the show. Well, this is the new season, as always. It's the first time to bring such a wonderful game like this. So stay tuned for more of this. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and also on Instagram. See you next week for more of the show. God bless. Bye for now, everybody. Come on, show some love, everybody. Woo! Thank you for watching. See you soon.